Welcome to my channel. It's certainly no coincidence that you are here. I have been called to read God's Word, the Bible. I'm currently reading the first book of the Bible called Genesis and I'm up to chapter 46 today. If you have been reading along with me, then I welcome you. If this is your first time, then I'm committed to reading God's Word from the beginning to the end. And today we're going to be reading chapter 46. So if you have your Bible, open up to chapter 46. If not, just sit back and listen as I read through God's Word. Today I'll be reading from Genesis chapter 46. If you would like to read the previous chapters, then head on to the links in the description below. They will take you to previous chapters. Otherwise, let's get into it. Chapter 46 is entitled, Jacob Moves to Egypt. So Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Bathsheba and offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. Then God spoke to Israel in the visions of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here I am. So he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not fear to go down to Egypt, for I will make of you a great nation there. I will go down with you to Egypt, and I will also surely bring you up again. And Joseph will put his hand on your eyes. Then Jacob arose from Bathsheba, and the sons of Israel carried their father Jacob their little ones and their wives in the carts which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. So they took their livestock and their goods, which they had acquired in the land of Canaan, and went to Egypt, Jacob and all his descendants with him, his sons and his sons' sons, his daughters and his sons' daughters, and all his descendants he brought with him to Egypt. Now these were the names of the children of Israel, Jacob and his sons, who went to Egypt, Reuben, was Jacob's firstborn. The sons of Reuben were Hanok, Palu, Hezron, and Kami. The sons of Simeon were Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Jakin, Zohad, and Shaul, the son of a Canaanite woman. The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Judah were Ur, Onan, Sheila, Perez, and Zerah. But Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. The sons of Perez were Hezron and Hamuel. The sons of Ishakar were Tola, Puvah, Job, and Shimron. The sons of Zebulun were Sered, Elon, and Jalil. These were the sons of Leah, whom she bore to Jacob in Padan Aram with his daughter Dinah. All the persons, his sons and his daughters, were 33. The sons of Gad were Ziphian, Haggai, Shuni, Esbon, Eri, Arodi, and Arlai. The sons of Asher were Jimna, Ishua, Izuai, Bariah, and Sarah, their sister. And the sons of Bariah were Heber and Malkiel. These were the sons of Zilpah, whom Laban gave to Leah his daughter, and these she bore to Jacob, sixteen persons. The sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, were Joseph and Benjamin. And to Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, whom Asenath, the daughter of Potipharah, priest of On, bore to him. The sons of Benjamin were Bela, Becca, Ashbel, Jera, Naaman, Ehi, Rosh, Mepim, Hippim, and Ard. These were the sons of Rachel, who were born to Jacob, fourteen persons in all. The son of Dan was Hushim. The sons of Naphtali were Jahzeel, Gini, Jaziah, and Shalem. These were the sons of Bilhah, whom Laban gave to Rachel his daughter, and she bore these to Jacob, 
seven persons in all. All the persons who went with Jacob to Egypt, who came from his body, besides Jacob's sons' wives, were sixty-six persons in all. And the sons of Joseph, who were born to him in Egypt, were two persons. All the persons of the house of Jacob, who went to Egypt, were seventy. Then he sent Judah before him to Joseph, to point out before him the way to Goshen, and they came to the land of Goshen. So Joseph made ready his chariot and went up to Goshen to meet his father Israel, and he presented himself to him, and fell on his neck, and wept on his neck a good while. And Israel said to Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen your face, because you are still alive. Then Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's household, I will go up and tell Pharaoh and say to him, My brothers and those of my father's house who were in the land of Canaan have come to me, and the men are shepherds, for their occupation has been to feed livestock, and they have brought their flocks, their herds, and all that they have. So it shall be when Pharaoh calls you and says, What is your occupation? That you shall say, Your servants' occupation has been with livestock from our youth even till now, both we and also our fathers, that you may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptians.